It's quarter to nine on this uh, Friday morning, and I don't think I could think of a better way to end off Morning Life for the week. Uh, they took the music industry by storm back in 2002 with their unique sound and hit song, you know it, do be, do be, do. Yeah, I'm not going <laughs> to sing. Uh, Norm Vula, I'd like, and the fire is low. You know them all. It was also the fact that members of this band hailed from such different backgrounds, from Mozambique, Zimbabwe, uh, South Africa. It made us all sit up and pay attention, actually. We're referring to none other than multi-award-winning band Freshly Ground. The band is back from what seemed like an eternity, I have to also admit, with their latest offering entitled Black Girls and the lead singer, one of South Africa's most beloved bands and ladies, Zulani Mohola, joins us in studio to tell us a little bit about herself, what she's been up to and the new offering. It's so nice to see you. You too, Leanne, very you know, much. We go back such a long time. Yeah. You know, you even came and sang for Morning Live. I mean, I mean, this year is my 14th year on Morning Live. Wow. So I have seen the growth of Freshly Ground from the very beginning. Yeah, we you were sitting have. once at a fashion week and I think it was in, in Cape Town. You guys arrived early in the morning. It was just you and the guitarist and you sat there half asleep waiting to get up and sing and you know very unceremonious and no nothing and here you are I mean yeah it was such later. an incredible growth for you hasn't it yeah it's been good yeah. I mean it's it's we've as you say it's been we've gone we've been all over the world we've done all these awesome gigs um and now to think from that first album that first album actually that you were talking about wasn't that album that we had that we no. had all those hits because there was, was an album called jika jika was an album called jika jika that was our first that. album yes yes and then nom vula was the album with all those songs on yeah. so now we're on album number seven sure can you believe seven that? Seven albums are. That is crazy. Seven albums, 16 years later. What's the gap been between the last album and the this one? The last album that we released was Take Me to the Dance. Yes. And that was about three years ago. Okay, three years ago. Yeah. So it's quite natural in, Fresh, in Freshly Ground's yeah. career. I mean, it's not like a big, long gap where no, we've all no. been waiting. But I suppose it feels that way because we just, we miss you guys and <laughs> yes. we want your voices out there. And I think yes. one of the big reasons is because you managed to bridge so many divides. Mm. And that is a big thing in South African genres because you'll find, yes. you know, this segment of the population listens to that music, this one listens to that, this one listens yes. to that. But you never get a crossover, well, and you did that. It's been a really interesting thing because it was so, it happened so naturally. Mm. You know, it was never anything that was made by design. You know, that we would be coming from different places, uh, different parts of Africa, that we would be mixed races, that we'd be mixed ages. It just happened that way. We just met each other. And it's, but all these years later, when we look back and we, figure out what we are about, we're about connection. Yeah. We're about connection between people, acknowledging that it's complicated because it is, it's complicated. Yeah. Sure. South Africa is complicated. South Africa, the world, <laughs> the world is complicated. It is. Jeez, it really I mean, look, is. At, look at America, yeah. look at the Middle East. I mean, it's, it's complicated. It's complicated. Yeah. And yet, like I said to you in the beginning, I remember first listening to the album and saying, I don't know, you guys have you're changing the way South African music is viewed because you're going to get so many different races and cultures enjoying and listening to your music. Sure. And that happened. Yeah. I mean, that, that did happen. Oh, it's meant to, and, and it happens at, at every gig. Yeah. You know, that, that's, that, that's what, what we really love about the live performance, um, even more than, than the energy that, that we have on stage and the energy that we get from the crowd is that very mix, that broad mix of, of people of any shade, of any yeah, of any age and everything. That. It's love wonderful. It. But now that's not all what you stand for because I mean you, you you've done so much more. And I've, I've been reading some articles behind what it is you want to achieve from this. And you've always been a very, very outspoken and vocal person, particularly when it comes to women, and let me add, black women's rights. Sure. And saying that South Africa's got a very, very long way to go sure. when it comes to recognizing, okay, women's rights, but I think your focus is on black women's rights. Well, Hence certain, the song. certainly with, with this song, yeah, as you say, song. Leanne, this song is, is called Black Girls, and it follows on from a, from a song that we released last year that was called Banana Republic, and that song was a protest song um, um, towards, aimed towards our government, the previous government wow. now. Yeah, very controversial. Sayonara, uh, the previous government and our previous leader uh, and, he, and his cronies. So leading on from that, this album is very much about, it's not an issues album, it's just a song about things that we really feel very passionate about. Mm. And this song, Black Girls, is an empowering song. You know, it's a song that says, it doesn't matter what box you've been put in as a woman, as whatever, as a you know transsexual or whatever. You have the freedom and you must be yourself. Yeah. That's what this song is saying. I mean, is it a different feeling in this album? I mean, as you say, 
last album was a bit of a protest album, in a way. So, protest song. Yeah, well, well that Banana Republic is attached to the song. So we actually released that song before we released the album. We just, we happened to release it on Freedom Day. Mm. And the only reason we released it is because of what was happening at that time. Yeah. Oh my goodness, it was just too much yeah. for us to stand it, back and not say really anything. And then we released the, um, the, the video for that song. So this album, it is, it is a lot more kind of maybe in your face. We've always um, spoken about social, social, political um, issues that have been close to us. And in that way, this, this album is no different, but there's a, there's a, there's maybe a bit more of a palatable kind of um, way that people might digest it. And we'll be playing a song. We'll be playing Black Girls Live for you. Can't wait so to hear it. See. But this, the whole album, when are you dropping that? Because it's called Can't Stop. Very good. This album is called Can't Stop. Yeah. Obvious reasons. We can't <laughs> stop making music. And I you mean, must been, never stop. Please and don't. And we must not stop. We're releasing it this very next month. Okay. People must just go to our Facebook, Freshly Ground SA, and Instagram. We'll tell you all everything you need to know. So when you were growing up, and, and I know I can't indulge, and I, I need an hour talk show. I do. You I'm, do. I'm putting it out there. Give me one Hello. so I can talk to someone. Give like this Zulani. lady a talk show. <laughs> Zulani, I mean, when you were singing, I mean, you grew up in Cosa. I mean, I was again reading articles about you talking about Black Panther and how proud you felt listening to because I mean Black Panther and how yeah. how amazing that was yeah when you started singing mm. I mean your voice is different mm. was it always a good voice or was it a voice ha. that people had to get used to because I listen to your voice and for me it, it, it hits the right note did it hit the right note with everyone I don't know I mean the feedback that I got when I was at home my dad used to say <laughs> he's like what's that noise you what? know like when I was <laughs> singing, my dad was quite he was quite a joker but he never like what's that noise? He, he never he never um, he never kind of softened it and said I'm joking my child you know? <laughs> <laughs> he never came he to that point that. until like until I was making music. Uh, yeah. Until your fifth album. Exactly. And, and you were in the, on the World Cup performing yeah. with Shakira. I was like, okay, your voice is not so bad. You're not so bad, actually. You're quite okay, good. Okay, Danam, you can do this. <laughs> oh, well done. I love that. That's one of your better stories. The yeah. kid's good. My kids are great. Thank you very How much for asking. How old are they now? So now the baby has just turned two mm -hmm. and Zazie is four and a half. Beautiful. We've yeah. got some musicians coming up. We'll see. They can be whatever they want to be. That's love the that. point. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Ah, Zoli, thank you. Thank you for coming Thanks, in. Thanks, Leanne. And you've got to know I love you. I'm, I forgot my shoes at home today. So I'm wearing my... I'm wearing my I slides. It. I mean, I'm, I I'm embarrassed it. to do it, but I'm doing it. Don't be embarrassed. Because I, I was not letting this interview in. go. That's yeah. good. I feel good. like, anyway, don't worry. Do not see me on my shoes. Leave them alone. This is my love for Zolani. Tweet That got me to sit on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> One of the lead singers of uh, South Africa's You're most right. loved bands, Freshly Ground, Zolani Mahola. She's going to be singing us out together with Mike Bester. They'll be playing Black Girls. Their album, dropping next month, Can't Stop. Stay tuned.